Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the Greek Mathematical Olympia 2013. It says, define a sequence of real numbers a n by the first term equal to, and that for the following terms, a n plus 1 equal the sum of a1 plus a2 all the way adding to a n times n plus 1 over n minus 1. We have to find the 2013th term. When I first look at this problem, I tried the first few terms, hoping to see some patterns. Obviously, I could not observe anything. And I started to re relate this question with the usual recurrence relation equations that I have seen. There are a few common forms of recurrence relations. The first one is a n minus a n minus 1, which means the nth term of the sequence, and the a minus 1 term of the sequence equals a constant. The second type is a n equals some constant times the previous term. Or the third type, which is actually the most common, is that a n is the linear combination of previous terms, such as 3a n minus 1 minus 3a n minus 2 plus a n minus 3. Okay, so these kind of linear combinations. But apparently, our equation does not look like any of the three types that I've mentioned just now. Because the right hand side consists of the terms in the whole in the sequence all the way down to a1, not just a few previous terms. So I went for another direction to solve this problem. Another common way to crack it down is to rewrite the equation by replacing n by n minus 1. So we'll have a n minus 1 equals n over a minus 2 times a1 adding up all the way to a n minus 2. Now notice that this part can be rewritten in a very simple form, which is a minus 2 over n times a n minus 1. Now I can put this into our original equation and I will get a n equals n plus 1 over n minus 1 times now the first a minus 2 terms will become a minus 2 over n times a n plus 1 plus a n plus 1. Now, after putting it, putting the second equation into our original equation, we've managed to write a n only in terms of some polynomials and its previous term. So now we simplify. The terms inside the bracket will become 2n minus 2 over n times a n minus 1 and simplify we will have 2 times n plus 1 over n times a n minus 1 which looks much nicer than our original equation. This looks more of like a geometric progression but not quite, not exactly the second type of the so-called most common forms of recurrence relations because the so-called common ratio is actually not a constant, it's not common. So I use the same strategy, rewrite the same formula with n replaced by a minus 1. Here's an advice. If a strategy looks to be working, don't hesitate to use it a few more times. And by rewriting, I will have a n minus 1 equals 2 times n over n minus 1, a n minus 2. If I put this into the equation above, then I will have a n equals 2 times n, n plus 1 over n times 2 times n over n minus 1 times a n minus 2. 
then I will have 4 times m plus 1 over m minus 1 times a m minus 2. Now the n cancels out. So we can iterate this process until we reach a1. Noting that a2 is actually equals to 2 times 3 over 2 times a1, which means for the general formula of a n, the denominator ought to be this number, which is 2, and the numerator should be m plus 1. So we'll have a n equals some power of 2 times m plus 1 over 2 times a1. As for the power, it should be a minus 1 because you may notice that by looking at the subscript, when we go down by one step, a minus 1 going down to a minus 2, we have an extra factor of 2. Now for n going down to 1, we go down by a minus 1 steps. So this power should be 2 to the n minus 1. And replacing a1 by 2, by definition, we'll have a n equals 2 to the n minus 1 times n plus 1. So now we can easily tell that the, twen the 2013 term should be 2 to the 2012 times 2014. And so that's the final answer. Let's leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternative methods in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you for your support. See you next time.